I welcome us to a simple exercise will reboot your brain in 30 seconds. Okay, let me repeat it again. A simple exercise will reboot your brain in 30 seconds. And I know that all over the world, that every student wants to do well, want to actually perform excellently. Every student is interested in improving their grades. Every student wants to be the best in his or her class. Every student wants to be a topper. And today I have simple physiological exercises that you can actually use to reboot your brain that can help you okay, optimize your learning because it's going to actually put your brain in that right framework so that whatever you learn okay, will actually stick in your brain. It will help you achieve what I call LSF, that is learning and studying uh, flow. And the first tip is this. I realize that the Chinese students, okay, despite the fact that they've, they've captured global education because uh, China has become the world's uh, cleverest nation, okay, according to PISA, according to um, uh, different international exams like uh, like IMO, okay, like uh, Teams, ETC. So I realized that the Chinese students, whenever they want to study and they are feeling dizzy, what they do is that they, they, they've been trained to do their eyes like this. Okay, the more you do it, okay, there's a way that, okay, whatever dizziness that you're feeling, it will dissipate, okay, at that moment. Then another exercise that can quickly help you reboot your brain is what I call, call cross lateral motion. It is like this. Okay, before you read, make sure that you do like this, like what I finish one time. Okay, as you do so, okay, it's going to do what? It will increase your cardiovascular kind of activation, which will help you, okay, supply, okay, blood, okay, to your brain. Then another one has to do with this, that whenever you want to actually get into that learning and study flow, okay, you can do your fingers like this, okay, and you keep doing it, then you increase, okay, the, um, the friction. Okay, as, as soon as you do it, okay, you will not know that it is actually sending signals, okay, to your brain. And it will do what? It will help, okay, uh, supply blood, okay, and it will help release so amount of dopamine, okay, in your brain. And do not forget, dopamine is a kind of, it, it, it is a, it is one of the neurotransmitters of learning and memory. It, and it helps in long-term memory consolidation. So whenever you practice all these exercises, they will help your concepts neurons. Okay, okay, this is an image of a neuron, uh, and in our brains we have about 100 okay, billion neurons. But there are some populations or, or, or populations of neurons that are dedicated to education that are called concept neurons. So if you practice this exercise, they will help you do what? Encode whatever information that you learn okay, during your study uh, session. So do not forget, okay, make sure that you integrate this into your study habit and you end up becoming one of the best or you end up emerging, okay, as the best student in your class. Thank you very much and as I see you in the next video.